Today is going to be kind of a different kind of video, but it should be exciting. I'll explain more in just a minute. Alright, so I gotta clean my room, get that off my ear. Uh, but basically today's video is going to be more of like a 30 minute challenge. I am incredibly busy throughout my day and I'm tired from the run. <laughs> I'm incredibly busy throughout the day. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, but I'm thinking if I give myself 30 minutes and I just work at a certain project for a certain amount of time, I can vlog that experience to a certain extent, uh, teach you everything that I'm learning as I'm going through it. I think it could be quite interesting. Today's going to be a lot about planning, just kind of going through my mindset of how I plan things, how I design things, how I lay things out. Then we'll return back here tomorrow. Uh, yep, I'm going to try making this at least a daily thing for this week. We'll see. <laughs> but basically, 30 minutes and let's see what we can get done. First off, I'm going to clean my room. Then we'll get started. Clean enough. All right, so here we are. From, from, let's get started. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, and we're starting now. All right, so we have 30 minutes, and we're just going to get done what we can. Um, first thing I want to do is just mess around with Sketch a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let's open up Sketch. Now, generally, I just like to start out with a blank document. And we'll just get started from here. Now for our music app, um, you can think of this as like a Spotify or Apple Music competitor. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to just make something, say a band contacts you and say, hey, we want you to make our band application and we want to have music streaming and whatnot. So really there's only a couple things that need to be done. We're going to have a about page that's going to show all of the social media links and whatnot. They click on it, it goes over to their Twitter, their Facebook and everything. Um, and then we just need to have a music streaming home screen. So we're just going to have like the band name at top with like a table view showing all of their their songs, maybe a quick write up about how they love the song or something. That can be for a future. But and then also and then also we're just going to have the pause play music screen. So Let's think about how we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and get started in Sketch. So with Sketch, we're going to we're going to go ahead and create a couple artboards. So we drag out an artboard. We set the size. I like to work in iPhone 8 Plus, but just because I feel like it's good all around size. But you can mess around with however you want. And then uh, we'll just make I guess three artboards. And I like to label some of these artboards to make sure that we are keeping track of what these are. So this is just going to be the home screen. Uh, this one over here is going to be the pause play. And then since this one's out on the outskirts, that's going to be our about. All right, so with the main home screen, we're just going to worry about having a table view and kind of what that table view would look like. But first, let's get some album art that we can play with. Maybe uh, just find a band that you like and start working with that. So let's say Imagine Dragons, maybe. And then also as for organization sake, uh, make sure that you have any artwork or anything that you're going to be using inside of one file so that you can easily manage it later on. So we're going to have the album artwork in there. And then also we're going to save this sketch app right in there as well. So I'll go ahead and save this um, as our music app, save that to the desktop. And there's our sketch. We'll just move that right in there. So now we've got our artwork. We know the band name. And let's try and play around with things a little bit. So I like the colors coming off of this album artwork. So with this, knowing that the album artwork is the thing that we really want to pop, I guess. Depends on the album artwork. If you're working with something else, make your other make the screen elements colorful around the artwork. But for this case, I think it's really nice to make the album artwork stick out. So I'm going to be using that. And generally when you're designing things, you want things to seem familiar, but not the same. So in our case, we want to make sure like the pause play button, everyone knows that it's going to be at the bottom. That's how every music playing application out there does it. So we're going to have our pause play stuff at the bottom. And then at the top is going to be our navigation bar where it might have the about page up there, or maybe we'll make it a tab bar down below. Let's see. Let's start designing and see how we like it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert iOS UI design. We're going to put a navigation bar up at the top here. I'm definitely not liking the, the colors that are going on with this. So I'm going to unlink it with the library and we'll edit this quite a bit. So let's go ahead, delete that. Maybe unlink that from the library as well. Make this say about maybe. Let's see, give it a better color. Now for their logo here, they're going with a black and white theme. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So the about button is going to have a black and white theme to it as well. 
And also we're gonna put the logo right into the title bar. Uh, I think that it'll look nice. And we're also gonna take this logo and take out the white behind it because that messes with the UI elements quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and we just do our magic marker selection. We don't need to be perfect, it's just to make sure that things don't override. And let's save that. And now we can take this and put it right into our design. All right, I'm liking how the title bar is looking, so now we'll just move down from there. So right now we're gonna worry about how the album artwork is going to look, just move, going down the screen and how the song name is gonna look too, uh, is gonna look as well. All right, so with our album artwork here, the thing that I usually do to get things repeating and to make sure that everything's going smoothly, I'm gonna go ahead and add a rectangle right in here. Uh, we'll just create that momentarily. We'll take our album artwork that we saved, move that right in there as well. And then what I generally do is take this and we just create a symbol. I'm gonna go ahead and call this my like home screen cell. And then now we can just go into our home screen cell and start editing that. So now anything that you add right inside of this home screen cell can automatically be replicated and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and take this, we'll fill it with white. I don't like it. I think we don't need any borders on this either and we'll start working with this cell. So with the cell, I'm also going to make sure that this has rounded edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape, rounded rectangle. It's very easy to add a rec rounded rectangle. Just drag that right over your album artwork. Make sure it lines up perfectly. Then we'll select that to add our album artwork and just say mask. And that does it right then and there. If you wanna change uh, your, your corner radius, you just click on your mask right here and you can add some corner radius to it if you want. I think just a tiny corner radius is perfect. Um, you can add some shadowing if you want as well. I might actually do that because I like a little bit of shadowing going on. Um, I don't like the Y moving down, but that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this, make it a little bit bigger, and I guess we'll add some information off to the right right here. So first off, I guess let's add uh, the song title name. We'll put this right up at the top here. Believer. You make me, you make me a believer. Believer. <clears throat> okay. So we'll make that believer right there, and then I guess we'll have kind of some more information down below. Because this is supposed to be more about the band, it's more about the band name, so it's not just going to be the, the song title and like the band name at, below. Because this is all about the band. So what we would want to do is add some more information pertaining to the song. That's at least how I'm thinking about it. Alright, they don't put any information down below for that, but maybe we can put the lyrics. That might be an interesting concept, that we take the lyrics and kind of put it down below. And when you click on when you click on the image, it's going to take you over to a screen with the album artwork and the lyrics showing down below. That'd be interesting. Okay, so let's do that. So let's go ahead and take some of these lyrics right here, paste those right in there. We need to change up the font. Also make sure they're left. Just wrap the text right in there. All right, so I'm looking. The, I'm liking the way this is looking. Another thing that we might want to do is create a three dot thing at the top right here for extra actions that we might add later on. I generally just like the look of that. Again, kind of sticking with the black and white theme here. Let's make those black and boom. I think that is pretty good for what we're going to be going for. I imagine we'll have the pause play uh, button kind of overlaying onto the album image art, uh, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. For now though, I'm liking the look of that. Okay, so let's take this. We'll just copy and paste it, see how it looks uh, in relation to other songs. And now we'll go ahead and work on the tab bar here. So the tab bar is just going to feature, I guess, the song playing now and some pause play button actions. Um, we'll worry about the sizing of everything a little bit later. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually not pretty good on, on how things are sized, but if it looks good, I, I'm gonna try going for that. So uh, first things first, we're gonna add just the album art down here. So I'm actually, I, I like the shadowing and everything going on with this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and put it onto this over top of this rectangle at the bottom here. All right, like so. Uh, we'll have some pause play buttons. Um, for those who are uh, a, a fantastic resource for finding things like icons, little pause play buttons and whatnot is called icons8.com. Um, fantastic stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for a pause button and maybe that'll give me some good inspiration for what I might create, or maybe I can just take from here. Okay, so so far I'm just liking these two right here. So the video play button and the pause button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download those real quick. All right, so there's our little icons that we're gonna be using for our pause and play buttons. Let's go ahead and take those and put them right into Sketch. They're a little bit pixelated, but honestly it's for just playing around with things and seeing how things work. So 
it doesn't matter. And for the bottom bar here, I don't think we need to show a lot of information. So I'm imagining we also just do this. For this bottom bar here, we're definitely going to just make it a white color. We're not gonna have any borders, but I'm thinking a little drop shadow could go a little a long way around here. So I'm gonna add some shadowing right onto this. And yeah, I like the look of that. And we might just raise it so the Y value is slightly going above. We'll take the opacity and maybe go down a bit. And there you go, just something simple. Okay, so now we'll take this view right here, this rectangle, and we'll also create this as a symbol as well for our bottom view. So I'm gonna take all those, we're gonna say create symbol, and this will be our bottom view, or just bottom. <laughs> so now with this there, we're gonna take that, move it over to the next screen, or this is the pause play screen. So this is going to grow up into this larger screen. So now knowing that we're gonna be working with lyrics and whatnot, we can just work with this right here, if it would grab it. <laughs> okay, we'll work with this right here. We'll take the album artwork right there and we'll make this big. Uh, we can put Believer right at the top, maybe. Uh, I kind of like the look of it maybe at the bottom. And then we'll take the lyrics. Uh, inside of our application, it's gonna be just like a text view that you can scroll down and see all of the lyrics as we're going through. So I'll take this real quick, make it a bit bigger. And we will take all of their lyrics and just move it in here and see what that looks like. Well, that doesn't look too bad to me. I'm thinking we also need to have some sort, we, we also need a pause play around here somewhere. So I think we will put this right next to the title, maybe. We'll take this and put it right like there. Really, this is just getting a rough design outlook. We, we, we can change our design later. We can do anything that we want with our design a little bit later. But this is just to give us a good foundation that we can then program into our app tomorrow. For the About page here, I'm going to go ahead and take the top bar and we'll move that in there. We'll erase this About page, um, but that's messing with the symbol, so we won't worry about that just yet. Uh, we'll erase it in our application. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, time's running a bit short. But here, I'm imagining we'll kind of do what we're doing here a little bit, uh, but where we'll have like the band's image and then maybe some social links down below. And, that's, and then maybe like a little blurb about them. That's what I'm imagining. Right on time. <laughs> uh, we don't have really have time to, to design the about page, but I'm imagining that's what we'll do. And we'll get into the programming of these screens tomorrow. Um, generally, here's how I think get things done. I design, I then take that design and I program that design. And then I fit that in with the functionality stuff. So tomorrow I'm gonna take all this design right here and actually program it. And then the day after that, we're gonna make it functional. And hopefully we can get this done, this whole application done by the end of the week. The plan is to connect this up with Firebase and have their songs, the the plan is to connect this up with Firebase and have their songs and everything streaming from Firebase into our application, or at least downloading into our application. And I think this is gonna be very interesting. Um, hopefully you found this interesting, kind of seeing more of my thought process as I'm going through things, as I'm learning through things and, and seeing like, oh, maybe this doesn't work good, or maybe this works good. I'm going into this with no preconceptions about how things are gonna be done. Giving myself those 30 minutes is very interesting. It's the kind of time constraint that you have to like really work around and think, okay, what can I do? And how, what's the fastest way that I can get this done, essentially? So with what we were doing here, you wanna make symbols, you wanna make things that are rep repeatable very easily. And that is exactly what we did there. And working in these time constraints is really like a job. You can't be fiddling around with perfection. You have to get things done, and with this, I think I got something that looks pretty nice. It's pretty simple, clean, but it works. Um, I've been talking to you throughout this as well, so that might have sucked up a little bit of time, but overall it's my my thought process going into a project like this, something that I've really never done before. And this is really how jobs are gonna be working as well. They give you a task, you don't have time to sit around and think about perfection, at least a lot of the times. So you have to get things done. And so with this, I'm just trying to get things done. <laughs> and another thing that happened was my, my the sketch app just decided to freeze on me. My whole computer froze on me. It was something to do with the mouse. Like I clicked down and then it just it wouldn't stop clicking. So I actually had to turn off my mouse and get that started again. I don't know what that was about, but never had that happen before. 
Uh, but just decided to do that as soon as I record. <laughs> anyway, today was the inaugural video. Uh, it's only going to get better from here. If you thought this video sucked, let me know what we can do better. If you thought, if you, uh, this is all about designing and building this together to a certain extent. I'm not pre-filming any of this. I'm going to be posting it the exact same day. I'm going to edit it right now after I'm done a recording and the video will be up a little bit later today. So if you have any uh, thoughts on designs or what else you would like to see from this type of video, let me know. Again, this is just a, a video concept that I came to my mind last week and I just thought, hey, why not? I think it'd be very interesting to kind of get into my brain a little bit of how I go about things and and why I do certain things. Anyway, I've done enough talking. Uh, hopefully you guys found this interesting. If you did, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see more from this series, what else you would like to see different from this series. I'm open to all suggestions. Um, right now we're just going to be building this music application. If this series continues from there, we'll see. But we're going to finish up this music application. That'll be the end of this first series. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.